Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mystery Monday. That's when we take one of these repack products and review it for you guys right here on the channel. Today, we have a little bit of a box battle. We have the Walgreens Football Collector's Edge versus the CVS Football Jumbo Box. So, both boxes are very similar. Pretty much the same product, just from two different um, pharmacies. So, we're going to see which ones have the better hits. But... Before we get into that, I'm gonna let you guys know we do have our 500 subscriber giveaway going on. Just in case anybody doesn't know what's happening, we're giving away all five of those hobby boxes right here on the channel. I'm gonna link that video to this one. If you haven't already seen it, make sure you check it out for your chance to win one of those five hobby boxes. We're giving them all out, so definitely check that out. But enough of that. We're gonna get right into this Mystery Monday. Uh, I don't know which one to start with. I think I'm going to start with the CVS one. We'll save the Walgreens for next. Right here, jumbo box. We look for ram randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. That's pretty much all that you need to look for. So let's get into it. Cool, empty box. And we did an episode of uh, Sunday Funday Football Mixer yesterday. Anybody who hasn't had a chance to check it out, please do. I pulled this crazy, insane 10 of 10 jersey match RPA, Jordan Love. So, super sick card. Just want to show it off before I continue with these uh, Mystery Monday cards. But... Here we go. We're going to do the loose cards first. Then we will get to the the LSU Tigers because I really don't like these packs too much. And the Pacific Pro Football Plus will do last. Let's see what they gave us. What they do in here. Sometimes they throw some cool stuff. We got Carlton Williamson from the 49ers. And this looks pretty old. This is from, wow, this is really old. This is from 85. So, boom. That's from before I was born. Pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to sleeve that up. I don't know how many cards I got that are that old. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see if I flip these over. School Colors, Matt Jones. Cameron Bray. Eugene Daniel. Uh, Dion Buchanan. Aaron Murray, rookie card, Kansas City Chiefs. This is from 2014, so never heard of him, and we probably never will. We got Gil Bird, Jim Miller, Dennis McKnight, Mike Jones, Cameron McGrone, Jamie Newman. So these are all backwards. So let me just flip the whole thing. Yeah, all backwards. So here we go. We got T. Higgins, rookie card. Jake Fromm, KJ Hill, Zach Mettenberger, Prochet. Marshall Folk, okay, that's pretty cool. JJ Nelson. Barry Sanders, I'll take that one. Nick Foles. Marcus Mariota. Tutu Atwell. Kyle Trask and Dalen Hayes. Okay, so there we go. And I'm gonna be honest, I got so many cars in my collection that I can make a way better repack box because <laughs> these boxes are pretty terrible and uh, they're not too expensive. I think they're like five bucks, but I can make five, $5 mystery boxes that actually have things that people want to find. So just a little note to whoever makes these. Maybe you guys can step your game up just a little bit. <laughs> 
But here we go. I ripped right through it. This is the LSU Tigers. You can get all types of uh, random people that played for this school. So Jay Mickelson, Banks, Misioto, George Bevan, Tommy Casanova. Okay, wow, that's a pretty cool name. Tommy Casanova. We got a checklist. Eric and Dulcic. Jerry Reynolds and David Browndike. Cool. All right, and our last pack, our last hope is Pacific 1991 NFL Pro Football. 14 player cards, super high gloss, premier edition. Okay, let's do it. And I have noticed whenever you open these packs, the first card is always always banged up because this type of uh, foil they use, it just sticks. See, it sticks to the picture on the card and it does this to them. So yeah, I'm happy they don't use those packagings on cards anymore. It's a really bad idea. <laughs> but here we go, we got Courtney Hall, Joe Montana. Okay, I'll take that, that's pretty cool. Let's put that over there. We got um, Bruce Hill. Ruffus Porter, Alvin Walton, Al Noga, Sean Landetta, Mike Height, Al Harris, it's pretty cool. We got Dwayne Woodruff, John Fries, Fries, Mike Sherrard. Mark Robinson and Eugene Robinson. And there we go. Just like that, the CBS box is done. And uh, yeah, the Walgreens Collector's Edge really doesn't have a hard battle because uh, we really didn't pull anything from that box. So if this gives us anything decent, then it will win today's battle. But here we go, Collector's Edge. Pretty much the same. Look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. One in four contain a hit. We'll see. I did pull an autograph from one of these before. It was a pretty terrible autograph, but it's all right. I mean, it was still an autograph, which was kind of cool. So. And I do feel like these are just a little bit better than the CVS ones, but... I haven't reviewed enough of those to say for sure. So we will see. And like I said, it's almost pretty much the same. So we got these LSU Tiger cards again. It says first edition. I don't know how many of these are printed, but I have opened a ton of them. And right behind it, Indiana University. So I'll do the Indiana last. Let's get through these cards first. The ones that they just throw in there. And uh, I already feel like this one's going to be slightly better than the last one. So here we go. We got a Topps football card. Dante Moncrief. Cole McDonald. Gabriel Davis. Paul Harnett. Denzel Mims. DeAndre Swift. All-American. Okay. Probably the best card we pulled so far in this video. We got EJ Manuel. Flip that over, Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson, good player, was a good player. We got PJ Williams, rookie card. Devontae Freeman, We're getting a few tops, that's cool. I don't have pretty much, like, not too much uh, tops football. Trey Lance, rookie card, that's my boy, so happy to see that. Nico Collins. Tyson Campbell, Joseph Osai, Jalen Darden, Sean Knight, Kurt Jarvis. Again, I'm not too familiar with a lot of these old school players, so if you guys see somebody that's really good, you know, point them out, let me know. We got Jeff Cross, Lorenzo White, Gene Atkins, 
Larry Cannon, Bob McOwey. I don't know, have no idea, but that's an official, so <laughs> that's cool. A rough card, I'll take that. Never seen one of those. That's pretty, pretty cool. Put that back there. We got Alvin Walton, AJ Bouye, and okay, Juju. Pretty cool. Again, nothing crazy. That's just how these boxes are. Sometimes you do get cool stuff, but they uh, usually don't give you anything too desirable, unfortunately. I do like opening them because, like I said, it is a mystery. So sometimes you do get stuff that are pretty cool. And uh, I love a good mystery, so that's why I do it. Hopefully, we pull a monster one day. But here we go again. The LSU, we got Johnny Robinson. Marcus Quinn. Ralph Norwood. Pat Screen. Wendell Harris. Kenny Collins. Steve Cassidy. And okay, I like that. Alex Box Stadium. Nice old school photo of the stadium. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I will put that right here next to my rough card. And here we go, last pack. And this is Indiana University. Eight college trading cards. Let's see what we get. Oh, look, you could get number cards too. I didn't know that. That's cool. Let's see if we get lucky. We got Andrew McDonald, Troy Williams, Jordan Howard. All right, that's pretty cool. We got a backwards Randy Whitman. I don't think that's anything special. Put that there. We got uh, Tevin Coleman. Okay, another one. Still in the league. Roger Staffel, uh, Saffold. Jordan Howard again. And we got another. We got a field this time. Bart Kaufman Field. Bloomington, Indiana. And yeah, these are cool. I like the field cards. The stadium cards. Pretty dope. I just want to take a look back and see if this Jordan Howard... Okay, so they have different cards, different variations of the same player. I didn't know that neither. I don't open too many of these, but you can see we got Jordan Howard twice, and both of them are in different different uh, poses, so pretty cool. None of them are numbered or anything like that. I don't know if, uh, well, they're not variations because they both got different numbers also, but all right, so I guess you can get the same player more than once. Pretty cool. That's the video, that's our review, and uh, pretty weak box battle, but get in them comments, let me know which box you think won. I think personally, I'm gonna go with the Walgreens. Uh, I just think that it had a little more heat. The only reason why I'm giving it to the Walgreens because the Trey Lance and the DeAndre Swift, that's pretty much the only reason. Nothing too crazy, but again, Maybe the next one will be better. You guys get in the comments. Let me know which one you think won the box battle. And also, what product you would like to see for next week's Mystery Monday. I usually have them lined up. But I didn't do it this time because we do have the giveaway stuff up there. So, I don't want to put too much stuff. Get it too crowded. But, make sure that you subscribe, like, share, comment. Get down on the giveaway. Leave a, uh, leave a little note for me. Let me know what you think. And that's all. Until next time, Stash out.